I notice that every time you're a second option, you get that maybe. I, you always get maybes when you're a second option. But when you're the first option, you never get maybes. You always get you always get a hard yes. Because maybe if you're a maybe, that means you're like a boss. Two explanations, two metaphors to help you guys explain why they say maybe. Right? And all you need is a little empathy to understand this. Because when we like someone and when we want to get a reaction out of them, we're not really being empathetic. What we're doing is being self-absorbed. We're not observing them. We're asking, we're, we're just asking, I hope they like me. What do they think of me? Am I saying the right thing? So even though, even though they say, I don't like you, you're not gonna even listen to that because you're so desperate. So if they say, I don't like you, you're gonna say, what can I do to make them like me? You're not listening. You're not observing reality, right? So if you just observe reality, it'll make it clearer. And that's, so that's why it's a little hard to understand the opposite sex when you are in a desperate state of mind and you're needy and you like them and that's very normal so let's find out how they how they what do they mean when they say maybe look first of all imagine a crackhead okay what's one of the most important things about being a crackhead is that you really want crack you want it with all your soul in fact they call you a fiend and by the way we're having this is the last day to get 60 percent off my courses using a coupon code mindful that means you could get emotional mastery psychological um the um, uh charisma blueprint and you can, you can get 30% off my one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions, private coaching sessions, and the video um, responses to your coaching sessions as well, right? One is private and one is more um, for the public, but you can hide your information and people won't know it's you, right? So it's still private. Um, today's the last day to redeem that code, coupon code mindful, okay? So look, um, a crackhead really wants crack, right? And the way I see love is that love literally works on the same parts of the brain that crack does, all right? The same parts, the same desire, the same compulsions you feel when you're on crack, the same thing you feel when you're in love. The same, um, the same pain and withdrawal symptoms you're gonna feel when you're not doing your drug, the same thing you're gonna feel with crack, right? You might lose your hunger. Heck, even with crack, you don't even get hungry. But one of the most important things about crackheads is that they're consistent. One of the most important things about crackheads is that the way they talk, they talk with, a, with an air of certainty. They don't say, hey crackhead, do you want to do crack Bob the t crackhead? And Bob is like, maybe. Think about that. Do you, do you really want crack if you say maybe to that? Of course not. You gotta understand. Hey, people are addictive creatures. When somebody likes you, what they're really saying is that they're addicted to you. It's that simple. It is that simple. So when you ask yourself whether or not this person likes me, what you're asking is how addicted are they to me, right? So that's one thing. See it from a crackhead's perspective and that will make, actually you'll be surprised. That will bring a lot of clarity, why? Because the things about crackheads is, about, is that they have a routine and they're consistent. And there's no such thing as, as I don't have enough money for crack or, or I, didn't, I don't have enough time for crack. There's no such thing as that, right? And also when somebody's addicted to crack, they're, they're, they're willing to sacrifice their self-esteem, their values, their life for you. Their decision-making goes down. So when somebody really likes you, their decision-making quality goes down. They'll, they'll sacrifice their self-esteem. They'll sacrifice things that you think are stupid for this person. They'll sacrifice their image. They'll sacrifice their reputation for them, right? So there's no rational thinking. So along with crack, is that crack has never say maybe to drugs. They never say maybe. Hey, do you want to do crack tomorrow? Maybe. No, they don't. Understand that it's a compulsion. It's it's a it's a compulsion that that you shouldn't be able to control. Because when somebody is able to wait for you, when somebody has the patience for you, where they'll say maybe, yeah, sure, maybe maybe let's hang out on Friday. I haven't made plans yet. When they don't see you and think you know what as soon as i as soon as they say they're free i want to make plans if, they, if there's if there's no compulsion if there's that they have to think about it that they have to see what comes up you are not number one priority and you gotta understand one of the things about crack, about drug addicts is that their drug is the number one priority when somebody likes you even in the beginning even in the beginning they may not have love but they definitely have that compulsion that that compulsion to try something new that because my thoughts, you thinking of being with me, you thinking of hanging out with me, should release dopamine in your brain. It should bring excitement. It should make your blood become um, um, pump more, 
right? It should give you energy. It should, so you shouldn't be tired. You're not going to ask whether or not I'm going to be tired from the, for, to see you. Why? Because when you, when the thought of going out with someone that you like, shut up, birds. When the thought of going out with someone that you like comes, comes up, it brings excitement. It brings energy. But when you don't like the person, for the love of God, they, they destroy your energy. So maybe always means no. Maybe never means fully yes. In fact, anytime somebody says maybe, cancel that shit. Just say, you know what? Maybe we should do another. Maybe we should do it another time when you're more av available. Just let me know. And then you pull away and you let them come back to you, right? Now, what's the other analogy? You gotta think about, right? Use use your empathy. Think about it. When you really want something, do you really say maybe? Let me let me tell you something. People have to raise their standards. People, a lot of people's standards are at the maybe zone. My standards are at the crackhead yes zone. In other words, you don't have to like be super excited to see me. But personally, if the thought of hanging out with you is a maybe for me, for you, if it's a maybe, I'm, I am not going to pursue you. That's just not going to happen. I'll let you pursue me. I'll see you in the future, but I'm not going to prioritize you. You don't have to react to maybes with, with, with pushing them away or being butthurt because they didn't prioritize you. They don't know you that much, right? But just like a child, the things when you were a child that brought back excitement, the things that you were a child that, you, that excited you, that gave you a composure, a compulsory drive to re repeat that thing, are things that you're meant to do. When I was a child, I was addicted to spirituality. I always was fascinated by spirituality. And so I grew up and that was something that I gravitated towards naturally because it was a voice and a sensation that I was in touch with even as a child. People, when you get to know someone and, they, and, they, and there's potential for them to like you, listen to me, man. There's something in them that responds to you. Just like a child responding to things that it's meant to do. Just like Tiger Woods responds to golf. Some people have a higher response level to you than other people. The people that are meant for you are those who have a slightly above average response to you. That, it's that simple. You can't win everyone over. Not everyone's gonna like you. You want the person that when they say, see you and, and, and they wanna hang out with you, it's a hard yes. Unfortunately for some people, there's, they may not be attractive enough to elicit that type of response. And I totally get that. And that's why I have to bring it up because it's, act, it's an actually true thing. Some people are not, uh, are not stereotypically attractive enough to receive that many things from people. That's just the truth. But let me tell you something. This, does not, this is not the, the, the meaning of life. Getting accepted by someone is not the meaning of life. So, so, so it should, you know, it does make you a little sad. I get it. But it shouldn't be your end all be all. You know what I'm saying? Life is not perfect. Not everyone's going to have a perfect life. So you got to accept that some people are just not meant for you. They just don't like you, right? And you have to love yourself enough to accept that. Because when you love yourself enough, you're able to hang out with you, with yourself, and not feel like there's something cooler to do, not feel like this person might be hanging out with themselves and having more fun than you hanging out with yourself. Because that's what we all think. And you do that through developing a meditation practice, people. Developing a meditation practice will increase your ability to handle maybes. Because maybes are pretty much passive aggressive no's. Just a simple. And they're passive aggressive no's. And the last thing you want to do, oh my fucking God, he's moving. <laughs> the last thing you want to do is resist that, is fight that, is get angry at that. Oh my God, he's getting wider. He's denying his race. Shut up, Alyssa, man. I'm just, just, just the sun, right? <laughs> he's denying his race. <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you, man, we all know what political party Melissa's in, man. It's kind of hilarious. Um, I, it's funny, my caricature of a, of a liberal is really hilarious but hey at least it's not evil at least i don't call her freaking uh, satan like the like, hey buddy oh my god he's so cute look he's running he's doing exercise people oh right and and that's how you do it hey buddy hey oh i'm here i'm your owner <laughs> right um but that's how it is, man. Um, and and, and you know what's funny? I, I'm, I'm just going to be honest with you. Anytime a girl ever said maybe to me, it never worked out. It never did. You know, it just never did. I'm trying, you, you know, I, I'm try, I try to be optimistic, but it just never worked out. The thing is, is that people have a hard time hurting your feelings. 
they don't like hurting they don't like hurting feelings you know people would rather kick the, the kick the can down the road than to hurt your feelings you know what i'm saying i would love to hear from you guys when has maybe actually worked like from someone when has it actually worked out right because uh, let me tell you something man personally like let me know in the comments but personally i don't want to be somebody's second option i've been a second option and i notice that every time you're a second option you get that maybe I, you always get maybes when you're a second option but when you're the first option, you never get maybes. You always get you always get a hard yes. Because maybe, if you're maybe, that means you're behind the main person. It's just how it is. You know? And as long as you as long as you don't take that personal or react to that with low self-esteem or wanting their validation, it really isn't a problem. The problem is that a lot of people just get attached to anyone that they meet. They're like golden retrievers, you know? They get attached. They like people, and they're they're gun hope on gun hope on any on everyone liking them liking them. And if some people don't like them, they take that personally, which you shouldn't. You know, not everyone's gonna like you. You're not that good. You're not, not not good looking. You're not you're not that lovable. Like even babies take time to be loved, right? Like studies show that fathers take a longer time to get used to the baby than the mother do, right? So even babies, the epitome of cuteness and annoyance, and yeah even they are not loved consistently right um it's it's just low self-esteem to want to be liked by everyone and i say that for myself and that's why i decided to just meditate more to be with myself more to develop a meditation practice and by you hanging out with yourself long enough if you hang around anyone long enough you're gonna like them hang around hitler long enough you're gonna you're gonna say you know what he likes dogs. I like dogs too. He's not a bad guy. My dog Bobby loves hit little hit Uncle Hitler, <laughs> right? I mean, serious, right? You hang around anyone, hang around hit Lucifer, you might end up liking the guy. He might be cute. You never know, right? So you you hang out hang out long enough with yourself through meditating, you'll be able to handle the maybes because then if they don't want to hang out with you, that means you can hang out with yourself. And if you meditate, you're gonna be okay with hanging, hanging out with yourself. If you just if you don't like hanging out with yourself, that just means you maybe you haven't meditated long enough and maybe you don't have enough self-love and that's that's okay but there's a remedy you can meditate and you can develop self-love over time it's completely possible it's not impossible all right all right anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this video um if you guys ever want to work with father alex one-on-one go to mindfulattraction.org and there you guys can work with me one-on-one -on -one, all right and i really do enjoy that you guys have been watching my videos all year long this year has been the most successful year in terms of views so i really appreciate that um later on today i should be making a video about like saying uh, about the things that i'm grateful about and that's it people see you guys later and you better hit the like button and subscribe or else i'm closing the channel take care I gotta turn this down. <laughs>